Hey everyone and welcome to today's episode of the vlog. So in today's episode we are going to be getting the front bumper sorted. You remember that deep scratch that we had when we first bought the car? We're going to be sorting it out today and I'm going to be attempting to repair that myself but a word of warning. If it isn't up to standard then we will get it done by a paint repairer. But as you always know in this channel, we like to attempt to do things ourselves here. And then if it doesn't work, no harm done, we get it done by a pro. Now, you know what my history is like when it comes to painting, it's never been that good. But this time with a black car, surely it can't go wrong. But let's have a look and let's see. And like I said, if it ain't right, we get it done properly. All right, so let's continue. Okay, so turning our attention back to the car now, the bumper has some really deep scratches on here and I'm going to attempt to repair them myself. Now, if you've been a regular follower of this channel, you know that my history with bodywork has been, well, poor to be kind. Um, so, but I'm gonna attempt this one because black is, and I'm gonna get a million comments for this, just probably an easier color to um, to uh, make mistakes on. So I'm going to attempt this, but if it doesn't look right, I'm gonna then get a smart repairer to have a look. As we always do with this channel, we always try first. And if it doesn't look up to standard and it has to be absolutely immaculate for me to be able to say it's up to standard, then we get the pros in. But you never learn unless you try it yourself. So we're gonna try it. So what I've done, I've sanded this down. I'm gonna give it a quick, I'm gonna give it a coat with some um, body filler because these are quite deep gouges here. And then I'll sand it down and then we'll see how it looks. We'll give it some primer and then we'll then take a look. There's also a gouge at the side here as well. Um, so I've sanded this down. This is quite a deep hole. It's not a deep hole, but in comparison to the scratches, it's deeper. I'm gonna see if I can smooth this out. Um, I could heat it up, but this has got a little hole in it. So it's definitely been penetrated. So um, let's do a repair. And like I said, if it doesn't look good, if it doesn't meet the grade, we'll get it smart repaired but if we can do it this way then we'll save ourselves a pretty penny and that's what it's all about really maximizing any profit we can make in a car so let's give this a stab okay so we've um, just given it a slight of dusting coating of uh, filler here as well so we've filled in that hole there i think this will need another coat so we'll give that a sand in a minute and then um we'll see how it looks Okay, paint time. See it, black magic from Halfords. Let's see how this goes. If it doesn't turn out any good, then we're gonna get it done from a professional. But as we always do in this channel, we're gonna give it a try. Okay, so I'm gonna give it a couple of can, couple of cans. <laughs> uh, three coats with lacquer now. We've 
I had to rub it down because it started to run and I've given it three co coats so far. It looks pretty good, so now it's time for the lacquer. Okay, so after three coats, that's the result. Now, it's difficult for you to see because it is black, but actually I'm quite proud of that. That's come out pretty good. It needs to be buffed up, of course, and I need to let it dry overnight. But the gloss on that is really fantastic. You can see me. That's me off the side of the car. That's how good it is. Well, I say it is good. If you're a painter, you're probably pulling your hair out now, thinking about contamination and all the rest of it. And you'll be right, because this isn't a dust-free environment. But for what I got, um, yeah, it looks really good. Uh, the proof of the pudding, of course, like I said, will be when we buff it up. We'll let it dry for a day or so, and then we will buff it up and see what it looks like. If it looks great, then we will keep it. If it doesn't, then we will get our smart repairer in. But in terms of my painting, it is starting to get fractionally better. Good, right, let's get this wing on and then I think that is it for today. Okay, so we've got the wing back on now, which is great. Uh, so that's firmly in place. Like I said, we've got to wait for the front to dry up and then we can attach that. And then once we get that done, we can then start looking on the inside. So I've just finished cleaning up this seat here, which has come up really well. Uh, but this seat didn't really have much on it. It had a little, a few splatters, but even with a few splatters, it's, um, yeah, it's come up really clean. There's a little mark there that I'm gonna carry on working on because uh, that doesn't seem to be going. But um, on the seat, there was quite a few stains and they're all gone now. Right, so what we're gonna do now, we're going to put this bumper back, attach it to the new wing and then we are going to buff this up. So the front's looking nice and shiny. We're gonna get my DAS polisher and just cut this overspray off and see what kind of finish that we get with the um, new spray job that we've done in the front. Now, I'm not sure if you can see this on this camera here, but that has come up really well. Um, there is just a little bit of shading. You can probably just see it there. That's where the overspray happened. So I just need to work this area here. But everywhere else has come up really shiny. I am, I am impressed. I am impressed with my amateur uh, bodywork. It's, um, it's come up really well. But I must say, black is, like I said, it's probably one of the easier colors to uh, paint. So um, that's probably the reason why I've, I've got away with murder here. But yeah, yeah, it looks really good. So I'm gonna work this area here again, and then um, hopefully that should solve that. Thank you. 
Okay, and that is it. So this bit's sticking out here because I haven't got the bolt on it yet to secure it into place. But that overspray has now disappeared and it's now one uniform color. Again, very difficult for you guys to see because it's black, but trust me when I say that that looks as good as a new bumper. So I am very happy with that. That's come out really well. We can now put the under tray or the wheel line in back into place and finish this section of the job. Just before I fit this, um, a little word about shopping around, okay? Um, I paid 17 pound for this under shield, all right? Now I have an account with Car Panels Direct and on their website, this was up for, I think it was 22 pound plus four pound 80 delivery, okay? So if I bought this from Car Direct or Car Panels Direct, um, it would have cost me um, £26.80, including delivery, yeah? I paid £17.48 for this from eBay. Guess where it's come from? Car panels I read. Just goes to show, eh? Shopping around is certainly beneficial often i see these things on ebay and i think that they're inferior parts and car panel directs they're, they're not original or oem but they're pretty good all the stuff i bought from them has been good but obviously this this company has a greater discount because of the volumes that they're buying but like i said it always goes to show shop around for the best deals Okay, so undershield is now in place, and I must say, it really looks nice, I like that undershield. But it's something that you'll never see, so it's in place, all the front is now all bolted up and everything. Um, and for those who may left a comment, yes, we have replaced this shock and the other shock as well. Okay, so there's two uh, replacement shocks, a pair from the same vehicle, second hand, but from the same vehicle. Okay, so don't you worry about that. Right, so we can put this wheel back on and then we can get this side window back in now that we've got the wing in place. And that means we can get this car off the jack and then deal with our final, final thing that we need to repair in the car, which is the dashboard. Okay, and that's it. So we have completed all of this. We've got the wheel back on and the car is back on the ground. And I must say, this car looks really good. I'm really pleased with the job that we've been able to do here now with the front. That's come up really well, better than my expectations. In fact, so good that it's better than the original, which was absolutely fine. And we managed to um, clear up the other side as well. There was some scratches on there, but they're just like surface scratches. I need to do a little bit more, but the bits at the top there, they all came off as well. So this just one, we've now got one big job to do on this vehicle. And that is a dashboard. Now this dashboard is a little bit more involved than the um, S3 because on the S3 we were able to take the dashboard off um, and leave the steering wheel in place. But this one, the dashboard actually has a little piece down here. Um, so that's one piece. So in order to take the dashboard off, we gotta take off all the steering wheel, the cowling, the stalks. Um, so we'll be starting that in the next episode. So um, I'm sure you're gonna join us for that. Okay, so the Ibiza's coming on well. 
the next job is the big one the one that uh, perhaps some of you have been waiting for but I certainly haven't been waiting for and that's the dashboard so I'm sure you're gonna join us for that in the meantime don't forget to subscribe down here click on the notification bell so you are notified every time we release a new video and give us a thumbs up as well and of course I always look forward to reading your comments so don't forget to put those in the section below so that's it for this week and we will see you on the next one Bye.